Hey, thanks for tuning back into Tech Tuesday. This week, we're gonna do a flashback to episode number three. This one's gonna cover your initial setup and also gonna show you how to set your IC steps. This is the number one call we get into our system. So please, pay attention, check it out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Now that we've gone through our fuel leak check, we're gonna start doing the programming on our handheld. Now that we've got our handheld plugged in, we'll start by going to option number four, go EFI initial setup. Open it up and go to selection number one, engine setup. To open these menus, we're just hitting the okay button on the handheld and we're scrolling around using the directional pad. Since this is a uh, 1968 Mustang and it's got a 347 stroker motor in it, we're gonna change our cubic inch displacement down to 347. Hit OK to send it to the ECU. We got a mild cam in it, so we're gonna go up to option two, send that to the ECU. The rev limit looks good right now, but later on we can play with it a little bit. And we're gonna wanna idle the engine just a little bit higher, so we're gonna try 780 RPM. So we'll hit send to ECU. Lastly, there's an option for TAC or two wire plus coil. This system has the classic EFI system on it, but some of the other systems such as the Go EFI 4 also has this menu. Uh, what this option is is uh, for timing control. So if you're going to be using the blue tack wire off of the Go EFI systems, you're going to select this to tack. It's already set up that way in this one, but if you want to go to VR coil, VR coils for timing control. Since we're not doing that, we're just going to stay on tack. We'll send it to the ECU. Review all of our settings in the handheld. Looks all correct. Now we got it, we're gonna key off and let the system save this information. A nice little way to see how it saves is we can go into the dashboard, there's values in the value column. Once the values disappear, just like that, the system has saved and all of our settings are ready. So once we key on again, we're gonna be able to start up the engine, get it up to temperature, and then we can move on to our throttle adjustment. Now we got the engine up to temperature and we're ready to do the throttle adjustment. To start with that step, we're gonna go back to our initial setup into idle setup and option number three in here is called idle set mode. We're gonna turn that on, send it to the ECU and now the system's in idle set mode. We'll go back to the main menu now so we can see how we're gonna adjust the throttle adjustment screw. We'll go into large gauges, we'll turn on RPM because we know we're gonna target 780 RPM, and then we'll find IAC, the idle air control motor. We'll go enter, we got our RPM down at the bottom and our IAC steps. So when we got the engine running, we're going to adjust the throttle adjustment screw until our IAC step is somewhere between 3 and 10. The engine's not running right now is the reason why it says 235 but when it's running, you may see something along 40, 70, 80, somewhere in that range is likely what you're gonna see. If the value is high, we're gonna turn the throttle adjustment screw in clockwise to open up the throttle. If the value's at zero and the engine's idling fast, we're gonna turn the throttle adjustment screw backwards to lower the idle, and that will make the IAC start to come up. Again, with the engine at operating temperature, we're targeting somewhere between three and 10. So we routed our handheld cable into the car. We're gonna 
give it a crank after we've done all of our initial setup and our throttle adjustment. Let's see how well Phytec fuel injection starts. Hey, thanks for tuning in this week's episode of Tech Tuesday. If you have any questions, concerns, please leave comments below. You can call into our tech line or you can email us as well. If you like the shirt I got on, check it out on fightechefi.com.